It's not the actual language of coding you need to master. It is the art of learning. Learning how to learn not only will make you a better programmer, it will change your life and give you the ability to have success in everything you pursue. <laughs> Dude, my baby's in the background. If you find value in this video, please share or comment. It will help others find this video through the YouTube algorithm. If you like the daily grind of exercising, you will be in shape faster than someone who has to dig deep every time they have to go to the gym. If someone likes art, they'll create more masterpieces than someone who only does it for money because simply, passion equals repetition. They'll just do it more for far less reason. Passion is the first step to being curious about learning something. For example, you like games. A new video game comes out. You're going to learn how to play it, right? In video games, you need to learn strategy, learn cheat codes, or learning video games is easy because you're passionate about it. If you have the same passion, you will put the time and effort into it. So when I was young, grr, when I was super young, I used to play Magic the Gathering and I played for years. I was going to Friday Night Magics at um, Wizards of the Coast, trying to collect all the best cards. I had a lot of passion to be good at it. I'd go to regional states, JSS, and I just um, try to put my skill to the test wherever I went. You know, that was my passion. And I, those little cards, they have so much text on them. But after a while, because, you know, all of us are playing with the same cards and everybody has passion. You, you just look at the card in the picture and the title and you can already know what it already does. It was so fun to show that passion could lead to being good at something. It was amazing as a little kid to see it in front of my eyes. Can you see yourself in whatever you are pursuing five years down the line? 10 years down the line, it isn't just about having passion. In anything you pursue, not only are you choosing the benefits that come with whatever you pursue, you are also choosing the pains associated with those goals. For example, coding, the pains could be you are at the edge of your knowledge and it is almost impossible to know everything. So you have to constantly be okay with being the student of the game and not knowing everything. Also in software development, there's office politics when you're going to the office or even working from home. You have to answer to superiors. You have to teach juniors, you have to follow a certain guideline, you have to follow project manager, the project management team. There's a lot of rules in that as well, but I mean, every company has those rules. And there's hierarchies that you need to kind of also play into. But I think every profession has that kind of pain. Also, maybe you have to give an update about your code to someone without a software development background or a coding background. You have so much passion for the coding like we were talking about earlier. So you want to say, oh, uh, before it was making all these operations, but then I was able to cut out this for loop. In the end, I'm helping save money on server costs from uh, killing this server and adding it to here. But in the end, to uh, someone without a coding background, that won't really make sense and you cannot communicate what you actually need to, to them. And in the end, you just will want to say, oh, I optimized it and I saved the company money. They'll be satisfied with that answer. To another programmer, you, you could definitely talk about those things, but product managers, CEOs, they're not going to have a coding or a tech background and you don't need to go deep into it. Hey, I optimized it. It's working better. I'm saving the company money. Done. And also, there are many things to learn from front end, back end, infrastructure, DevOps, and it can be very overwhelming to trying to learn it all. But remember, you only have to get good at one thing to be useful. Now, if you have both passion for your pursuit and you truly believe you can overcome the pain associated with your pursuit, then we have to apply the art of learning to truly make progress. When I try to learn and my learning strategy, I like to use GitHub search bar a lot. If I have a project or language I need to learn, I look up boilerplates released by programmers that I respect or with uh, repositories with a lot of stars or boilerplates released by open source. And I try to understand the code as best I can because it's uh, usually done in the best practices. And um, I like to get my hands dirty. I like to get into the code. I like to learn by doing. If I look at references and I can play around with the code, I can learn faster than if I were just to read about it. If I don't understand something, I have to look into the documentation. But in the end, you don't have to understand everything 100% to make something. You just have to understand enough. Also, when you're trying to learn, you have to set goals and milestones, not just look up tutorials. I'm sure you guys heard of Tutorial Hell. And I try to build some things that I built before in a different language and translate into the language I'm trying to learn. If I don't know a language, I definitely know the things I need to look up. When I look them up, like how to write a for loop, 
how to instantiate a variable, like little Lego pieces. And that's how I feel like that knowledge transfers over. Definitely also learn by choosing projects you are interested in. If you are interested, it will give you more drive to finish. And as you finish, you will learn so much more. If you are interested in learning how to code, join my Discord server. There is me and others who can help you achieve that. In the end, learning anything comes down to how long you are willing to put yourself into the learning period and constantly applying things you learn daily and putting it into practice. You can do a tutorial in a YouTube video about cooking, coding, or exercising, but it is only theory and copying an answer that is being shown live. If you have to break things down into tasks and try to do those tasks yourself, set milestones and devote your time into creating or doing things that you see yourself doing for the next few years. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.